Well, good morning, everyone. As we know, spooky season is upon us, so we decided to get in the spirit by checking out a spot to explore more about the metaphysical world. We are in Dormont at the Crow's Nest. I'm here with the owner, Amy. And Amy, I know you just celebrated a little over a year. We did. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah. tell us what you guys offer here. So our store is really dedicated to offering tools for people who are on alternative spiritual paths, people who are interested in the metaphysical. We have a lot of different tools for them. We also have um, items that are consigned by local artists, handmade items um, for people in the community who also practice the craft. Um, we have classes, yeah. rituals, membership programs. Um, we, we offer so much to help build community um, and then also to provide the tools necessary for the path. Yeah, so I know that a lot of people think of the word, you know, witch or witchcraft, and that's something that's been pretty popular in the films, you know, mm -hmm. like with Practical Magic, Hocus Pocus is coming out, and I know that this Wednesday is a brand new Marvel series, television series, Agatha All Along, which ties in with WandaVision for all those WandaVision fans, and I know that, um, you know, it's actually a really popular concept, but for a lot of people that are just exploring that idea, you know, what is the fascination about witchcraft? So I think a lot of people have turned to the craft um, because it is a personal exploration of spirituality mm. than a formulaic one. Um, and because it uses resources that are organic, it returns us back to the earth and it gives us some agency yeah. and the way that we connect to things um, and the idea of divinity and something bigger than ourselves. Yeah, and I know that, you know, there's good witch, bad witch, but we're gonna talk about Agatha, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. And tell us about some of the things that you found in your store that could help her all. Yeah, so the last time we saw Agatha, she had lost her power. Um, so I, I'm, we're assuming that she's in a quest to regain it, um, yes. looking for items that are grounding, protecting, mm. help her to feel strong and strengthened. I chose black tourmaline. This is one of my favorite protection crystals. I have it on me all of the time. It protects in a way that it wards off and sort of creates a boundary and a barrier of protection oh. so that um, harmful things are not able to reach you. Okay. Um, I also love Tiger's Eye Tigers. Ooh, I don't think that's it's, beautiful. I know. I don't think she gets enough respect. She's kind of common and everyone knows about Tiger's Eye. Yeah. So she's kind of like not used as often as I think she should be in terms of strength and really feeling self-possessed, mm. uh, you really cannot beat the courage and the strength that Tiger's Eye yeah. provides you. So let's go ahead through the rest of the story. Yeah. You have some other things for us. Yeah, um, I, we know that Agatha is proficient in runes. She used them in WandaVision. She used them more as a sigil of protection and a way to prevent uh, Wanda from using her powers. Um, but since she's on this sort of quest of self-discovery and she's sort of known for behaviors that are kind of villainous, I thought she could use them as a tool for guidance mm. and self-reflection so that this next uh, part of her journey might have um, a better result than the yeah. last one. Um, and that's beautiful too. Yes, this mahogany obsidian, this connects with the root. Anything that connects mm. with the root is gonna be grounding, stabilizing, strengthening, and protective. Yeah, well, let's go ahead in this back room because this is where you host you know, different, this is called the clubhouse. This, is, this is our clubhouse. Yeah. yeah, this is where you This are. is beautiful. I love Classes this. And our and sit down here. And tell us about some of your upcoming um, events real quick so that in case people are interested, they could come check it out. Yeah, we have some really exciting things. We are hosting a fundraising event for the Trevor Project on September 28th. Mm. Uh, we'll have all of our practitioners here. We'll have raffles and giveaways. We'll be donating a portion of our sales back to the foundation. Um, one of my favorite things that we do every year is the Dumb Supper in October. It is a dinner which is dedicated to reconnecting with our loved ones who have passed away. Mm. Um, and it's, it's always a really beautiful experience. And I'm assuming you can find all this information on your website. On the right? website, okay. thecosnestpgh.com. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Beautiful shop and congratulations on you know your one year anniversary. And we're gonna send it back to you guys for all of you that are into the season or just wanna explore more, come check out the Crow's Nest and also you know all the fun shows that are that are going to be happening all this spooky season. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really want to have my tarot cards read.
Well, there you go. I know. Well, I saw that it popped up on the calendar one of those days, and I really want to do it. I'm I think so it's, intrigued. I, I think by it's it. a Wednesday. I saw that too. Is that, did you yeah, see it? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So officially, spooky season is underway. The witches have spoken, As they and have. it really is fascinating. It is. <laughs> it's really cool. For more information on the two-episode premiere of Agatha All Along and more on the fun being conjured up at the Crow's Nest, just go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.